Now, the family of a World War II veteran who passed away in 1975, they were finally reunited with their loved one's Purple Heart years after it vanished. New York Senator Chuck Schumer revealing the identity of that serviceman who earned it and presenting the special honor to his family in a poignant, heartfelt ceremony today. Brian Yennis was there. Hi, Brian. Hi, Eric. Well, about a decade ago, a man named Joseph Ridlin was walking a friend's dog along a road in Nyack, New York, upstate, when he found a shiny object lying in the dirt. It was a purple heart, the medal carrying the inscription on the back reading, For Military Merit, B.J. McNamara, December 9, 1943. Ridlin tells Fox News he tried to locate its owner for years before eventually putting it in a box at home and forgetting about it. In July, he gave the medal to a friend, Anthony Del Regno, a former, Na a former Navy courtsman who then enlisted New York Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer's office to help locate its long-lost owner. And today, Senator Schumer presented the Purple Heart to four generations of Staff Sergeant Bernard McNamara's family. McNamara enlisted in 1942. He was wounded by Nazi artillery fire in Italy in 1943 and was a Nazi prisoner of war for 472 days. His daughter Catherine says the last time anyone recalls seeing the Purple Heart was 1962 when their mother allowed her cousins to play outside in the South Bronx with dad's stuff. The Purple Heart is the nation's oldest award given to wounded combat veterans. It was tough work. Over a thousand World War II service members had the name B.J. McNamara. The family is incredibly thankful. I also served in Vietnam. That when you come home, you put your medals away and you, you kind of try to forget about that stuff and just go on with your life, which is what he did. My dad was a very quiet, humble man. And... Um, Having these medals given back to us is great. The greatest generation. They are. And the Staff Sergeant's Bronze Star Medal and the Infantryman Badge were also lost and reissued today to the family. Eric? That's a wonderful story, and our thanks to the McNamara family. Brian, thank you.